All righty. Uh, just a little update on action work that's going on. We got the hammers here. You can see them here numbered. The Amadagawas. And uh, doing a little installation. Um, I am uh, working with a technician on getting this portion done to speed stuff up a good bit. Deadline is two days away, so I really have to move. Um, we are uh, taking these hammers and uh, using my drill press to bore them out a little bit. So we uh, went back and numbered them and keeping up with them and everything just to make them fit a little bit easier on these shanks here. This piano has, as I hit the string, it makes me think about it. This piano has an incredible sustain. This is going to, this piano is it's a little bit exceptional, I would think, if you wanted to compare pianos from this period, um, especially in the class of Kanabi and Steinway, uh, Mason and Hamlin. Uh, it's, it's really going to be a, a great instrument. Um, and uh, we are going through, we've changed the bridle straps here. Um, I am going to go back and replace, uh, you can't see it in this shot here, but be replacing the hammer butt felt. And obviously damper's off right now, uh, got new damper felt. Uh, show you here. The uh, new damper felts, these are base tenor felts, and I have treble felt as well but I uh, just wanted to get a quick shot of that. In any case, you can see here some of the hammers on. We're using a, a kind of skip, a method where we're skipping hammers to to match the, uh, these are original hammers, so we're matching up the angle and spacing of the original hammers, and that makes it easy in getting these hammers installed quickly. So we'll get the old ones off, skipping, as you can see here as we skipped, put the new ones on, then we'll take the ones we skipped off and then put new ones, replace those with new ones. So as I, let me back up here so you can see what we're doing here. And uh, after that, we'll regulate the action and uh, we'll be all set. So it's going to be close, but uh, I think we'll get it done two days away. Um, this piano is really shaping up nicely. Let me get a shot of the cabinet here. Uh, the uh, customer wanted a darker veneer, a darker tone, and uh, this has a lot of light. It has a halogen light on it. And cut that off, and you can see it really shows up a good bit here with the bright light on it. But I'm going to shut that off, and you can see how dark that is now. So it is a darker veneer, a darker tint. The veneer is not dark at all. Actually, after staining it, it was still quite light in comparison to what it needed to get to. So uh, I had to uh, tint uh, the paint to, to darken it up some more. So, But it's still, it's an absolutely gorgeous veneer. That's the Circassian walnut. And I match the type of finish that the um, the furniture of the furniture that this piano will be in the room with. So it has not only the color, but the type of finish is matching as well. So, in any case, uh, if you have any comments, I'd uh, love to hear them. Uh, you have a Twitter account, twitter.com at Beavers Piano. If you have, um, uh, well, obviously you're watching this, you're on YouTube, uh, Beavers Piano TV uh, is a channel on YouTube.com, Facebook.com slash Piano Rebuilder, and I do have a discussion forum as well, that's pianos.proboards.com, so uh, you can come there as well to make any discussions. I'm going to try to get, I've got a bunch of videos that I have not posted on ProBoards yet. Try to get them on there. It's the format of Pro Boards, the forum, makes it a lot easier to comment back and forth on there. So um, that's probably the easiest place to, if you're going to have big discussions. Obviously, Twitter with the with short blurbs is 
is good for that type of thing as well. And really, if you don't have a whole big thing to point to make, um, even here on YouTube is a good spot. So just take your pick. I love to talk pianos. Uh, this piano in particular is going to be exceptional. I can't wait to see it all come together. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye out. You'll see some more stuff soon.